Hey everyone, it's Joe Nazares here from The Automator, and today, this is a pretty cool script. It it actually has a couple of different purposes, and one of them's a little complicated, one's super simple. So often you want to be able to quickly mute your mic or speakers, and that's what we'll demonstrate first. Um, so Nazares, why don't you go ahead and start showing how, how the tool works. Right. So if I open up the tool, the first thing it's going to do is take me to the system sound settings and highlight what I, have should, what I should be paying attention to. Because here, what it's going to do is allow me to select microphones that are available in my uh, computer. You will have to select, whenever I press the hotkey, what microphone it would affect. So here, what I'm checking is, here's the volume every time I speak. So if I mute, well, I was speaking, you cannot hear me, but <laughs> while I was speaking, <laughs> you would see that the bar was not moving at all. And that means that I selected the correct microphone. If I select a wrong microphone and I try to mute it, um, even if it says that the device was muted, it oh, still moves in here so you guys can hear me anyway. So that's not the one really. So basically that's what you want to know. Once you know which is your microphone, usually you know by the device name. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky to know. That's how you would figure it out. You just hit select here. Now, before we hit select, it just tells you uh, that's my mic. Right, that's the only thing it will do, and then it so will just the hot key to that mic, basically. Right. So let's let's go ahead and check here on the preferences. Now, here on the preferences is where you can look at the hot keys that you can assign for different actions. So, for example, I can toggle just my microphone, turn it on and off. I can also also toggle just the default speaker, so that way my microphone can still be on but I could just mute temporarily listening to other people. And here, this is for both the microphone and the speaker. So you can set up the hotkeys here, and this is the window key kind of like checkbox. And when you do apply this, it saves your settings. And now if you select this microphone, now we can use our hotkeys to trigger the event. So let's start with the control alt M that, sorry, yeah, the M for the microphone. Uh, you will not hear me for a few seconds, but now you can see that I, I was just toggling that. Um, I can do the same now for the uh, speakers. So Control Alt S for me. There we go. And you can still hear me, but if you speak, I can't hear, hear you at all. <laughs> yeah. Right. If he wants to ignore um, me, that's what he hits. He's like, yeah. <laughs> and actually, notice how how uh, Zoom kind of like notices that, check this out. Right. In here it says, not hearing anything, turn off the volume. See that? It's very interesting. So so Zoom knows about the, the devices as well. So, and the last one is control will be, then it would do both. So it's really cool because now I have these hotkeys that I don't have to be, so usually, and this is the part that, um, uh, Joe was explaining that it's kind of like a little bit more difficult to explain. It's like Joe, a client, and I are all in the same call. And oftentimes they will start talking about something else while I create a code. And I can just simply hit a hotkey, just tune out for a second. And if they if they want me to listen to them, one of the things that we were talking about is, hey, if you're remoting in into the computer for the client, right? I can hit the hotkey on his computer, and if he has this program running, I could toggle the microphone on and off on his computer. So let's say that the client doesn't need to be listening to me all the time. So I just mute his uh, the, the speakers on his computer while I'm working. And when I want to ask him something, I hit my hotkey, it turns on his speakers. And then I say, hey, can you come back in if he's doing something else and so on. So, so it was very interesting because we can remotely Trigger that event on another person's computer in the sense of, hey, the client, it happens very many times. We're working with them, but they go and do something else and they're working on something else. They don't want to be distracted if Joe and I are speaking about something or we're just bouncing ideas. They are on their own thing. So this is where this tool becomes really handy. Yeah, but basically that's it. So uh, check out the URL. We'll give you the URL to download it. And uh, I think this will probably have a price of like, you know, $1.99, something, nothing expensive, but it's going to be, we're, we're moving to being more, you know, charging for everything to at least a little bit of money. 
Because we, we've sunk, this is another one, it's probably 30 hours easily into this duel of just working through things. Like it's always, oh, this will be easy. And then they keep, you know, <laughs> getting bigger. Yeah, this will be easy. This will be easy. Yeah. It's always. Famous that, last um, words. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so like the video if you enjoyed something. Remember, we release videos three times a week. We also have, if you want to learn more about auto hockey, we have great auto hockey courses. They come with a 200% money back guarantee. So you have nothing to lose. Check them out. Have a great day. Cheers. Bye.